even match through four frames. Team Storm and 900 Global. Rhino Pay steps up in the third for Storm. Looking to give his teammates a big lead in three in a row. Instead, he goes right through the face. Pays the price, leaving the 6 7. Then the two handed phenom, Jason Belmonte, steps up. That two handed delivery, a lot of speed, but can only imagine or manage seven spare. How about this guy, Steve Jarrett? You know, when he started on tour, he didn't have any gray hair. Well, 26 years later, he's still at it. Steve goes through the nose, but he's able to manage a spare. Now, the great one, Walter A. Williams Jr. Can it be? No, denied. Leaves a 3 6. And this just in, Walter A. didn't miss that spare. And we are all tied. Ladies and gentlemen, make way for the king of bowling. Here's Wes Malott, bowling anchor for Team Storm. The big, nasty six time winner on tour steps up here in the fifth frame, working on a spare for his Team Storm products lineup. I used to call him the Kraken, and he told me to stop calling him the Kraken because he never won on television when I called him that. Oh, strike him down, Wes Malott. Strike in the fifth. Battle of anchor players as we move over to Brian Voss. Best of friends, Norm Duke and Brian Voss. Let's learn more about these Hall of Famers. You know, you got uh, certain friends in your life, and, and your good ones you can probably count on one hand, and uh, he's, he's like, uh, you know, number one. I'm the big thumb. He's the thumb. And you are my index finger. When we uh, first joined the tour, Norm was uh, 18, and I was 24, and I'm watching this little punk kid come out and just whoop up on some uh, superstars, and with no fear, it's uh, really a joy to watch. And the first fatherly advice he gave me is he, he said, you know, he said, you know, it's about style out here on the tour. You gotta quit shopping at Grand Durant. You gotta go to the big boy stores. <laughs> I was 18, <laughs> wearing like 14 slims, you know. <laughs> okay. All that stuff from the past, no, when we're on the lands, it's, it's, uh, I wanna kick his butt more than, more than he wants to kick mine. You know, as we get older, we, we enjoy the, uh, the, the benefit of, of bowling against one of the greatest in the world. And, and uh, knowing that we shared uh, a big part of our life, it's special now. But I will, I will say this: too much of Norm is too much. I mean, I gotta, I gotta shut him up sometimes. We know the balance. We know when we get on each other's nerves, and and, and you know, we're not afraid to say, you know, just leave me alone for a while. He doesn't get even have to here. say it. He just gives me that look. Yeah, there's no politeness when when when, uh, <laughs> when, there. when it gets on my nerves. I'm like, all right, I'm leaving. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> Best of friends, a lot of titles. Yeah, Hall of Famers, remember Norm Duke, the youngest player to ever win a title on tour. Two great careers there. So now Voss up, even match for Global 900, bowling in the fifth. Come on, get a hit. And a 2-4-5, Randy Light here. A couple of, couple of two four right. five combinations. Yeah, and no strikes for 900 Global through their lineup. I guess we've got a 41. And that, uh, that can't be a good feeling for this team. And remember the strategy employed by Storm. And they said, well, you know, we're gonna go with the deep inside pattern because nobody on 900 Global can hook it enough except for, Walt, for uh, Robert Smith. Team Spares, yeah, team Spares. So back to the top of the order, now for Team Storm products and a chance to put another double on the board. Duke and Weber doubled to open, and now Norm Duke can do the trick again up in the sixth, working on a strike, looking to extend the lead here in the sixth. Ah! Six, nine, ten to leave and a high hit for Duke. How about 33 career titles for Norm Duke and almost $3 million in career earnings? Seventh greatest player in PBA history in the big top 50 poll last year. 33 titles, including six majors. And three for Duke and spare for Team Storm. Hey, Norm Duke, what happened on that shot? I didn't think the great ones ever missed. 
Boy, that one had no chance. I, I couldn't even root Brooklyn on it. It was just, please don't split. But I didn't. I had enough guys rooting on me back here to leave three in a, three in a, in a cluster. <laughs> Michael Haugen Jr. now up two time. Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour Titleist working in the sixth frame. He's spared back in the first. Going up high again, 6'10", right. for Haugen. Yeah, if I make it, it's fine. <laughs> and it wasn't long ago that Michael Haugen won his first major tournament of champions. And ever since then, unfortunately for Michael Haugen, he's been plagued by injuries. <laughs> Hey, at least I'm clean. I'm clean. Oh, boy. Hall of Famer, the great Pete Weber. Oh, Can you see that? Back for Weber. Did you see the number two pencils come out? <laughs> Head to PBA.com to download PBA Bowling 2 to your mobile device. This revised and updated game for your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad features the ability to customize bowling balls, oil patterns, and other controls while bowling in one of three challenging game modes. The game also allows you to bowl alongside many of your favorite PBA stars in multiple venues. Simply head to PBA.com and click on the PBA Bowling 2 link to download the game. Did you see Pete Weber flexing after that last strike? Super wash for Smith. Oh, I understand it there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> First half of the rack now. Here's the back half. Trying to fill the gap. No dice. Seven out for Smith. Yeah. Big trouble right. for 900 Global. Boy, if their big gun can't get it done, they're in lots of trouble, especially when you've got the big nasty anchoring Team Storm. Team 900 Global with Walter Ray Williams Jr. and Brian Boss will need to make up that deficit when we return for the ninth and 10th.